Hello and welcome to Product Labs and I am Manoj Sharma. Today we are going to talk about product development cycle for new product developments. So let's get started. So new product development cycle, how does it work, what are the basic uh, the development stages and where does it start from, where does it end and what are the middle stages and all those things we will be covering in this particular video. So stay tuned with me in this, in this video till end to understand the end to end development cycle. Normally, uh, normally when we ask somebody how, how, do we, how do we develop a product, so generally answer we get from somebody is like okay uh, we get the we get the requirement and we start making the models and all those kind of answers we start getting but actually uh, there are, there is a systematic approach for that so that approach how does it start so that is what we'll be talking about today uh, so let me talk about the various steps involved here so first is the define the problem so we need to define the problem what is the problem we are going to solve through that particular product development second is define the requirement specification of that particular problem so once we define the problem we need to define the specifications and the requirements of that particular problem was the uh, requirements and specifications are uh, defined then only we move on to the solution part of it and once the solutions are started we just don't, don't start on only one solution we generate multiple solutions of it and then we figure out which particular solution is the best for that depending upon the constraints we have there might be different constraints depending upon the requirements so uh, based on that we, we, we may have you know uh, we may end up narrowing down, down best possible solution and then next stage is uh, uh, which is called uh, analyze and analyze and select the solution so that is where we analyze all the concepts whatever we have generated and we weigh them with respect to each other and finalize which one is the best suited concept so how selection criteria work, I mean to say the pew matrix or vintage matrix uh, that is an entire different topic altogether and sometime I will be making a separate video for them, you can learn from them separately. Uh, okay, so POC is a, uh, is a kind of important step of the product development because uh, whatever we have thought, whatever the thought process we have put into our concepts uh, or in the solutions that is what we are going to prove that is what we are going to test and see whether it's going to really work or not or it's just a concept make a quick proto and make sure that we test it out uh, the concept is working or not and uh, if it is working then that's where we move move ahead so uh, the, the reason why why we call the POC is it's uh, it stands for proof of concepts so yeah, so I hope the idea is clear. That's all about POC. So let's move on to the next level. So guys, once your POC is proven and prototype is done and uh, you have much confidence that you, you can go ahead with the concept you have generated. So I think that's the great news for you and, and your management. So that is where the management will put more uh, money and budget into the project so uh, we will move on for the detailed design this 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 stage is called detailed design and testing basically so once you get the more resources money and allocation for the project uh, so we start detailed designing one is to one designing for the product Detailed design uh, not uh, not just talks about cat it, it it talks about uh, uh, all uh, dfme analysis all all detailed drawings or tall and stacking or DFM so, so which so which will ensure that all the parts can be manufactured so which means like all, all the injection molded part all the sheet metal parts if there are any all the 
any other parts, casting or whatever parts is involved in this particular project or product. So everything can be taken care by DFM or if there is any analysis involved, which could be structural, which could be model or thermal or any other analysis that also you need to do and ensure that we, we do not fail at any level. So analysis has to be done prior to prior to we move forward from detailed design and analysis for feedback also has to be implemented here before you release your drawings to the vendor for manufacturing. So uh, analysis also comes into picture over here. So once all those things are done, we complete and close the detailed design, detailed design uh, stage and release it for a final proto which can be sent for the final testing. So that is where you will be closing the detailed design and testing stage. So that's all about detailed design and testing level. Alright, so we have finished all the stages except the design release. Basically design release is nothing but just a sign of accomplishment. We have completed every single stage of product development. This is where we are going to release our design to the vendor, to the fabricator for the production. So that's all about product development cycle. I hope guys you must have understood what does it mean, what are the basic and primary stages of product development and what are the criteria of each and every single stage and what are the basic requirements of every single stage, what do we do at every single stage. So I hope it will help you in your personal career and in your personal project as well. So uh, you please uh, post any comments if you have any questions regarding this. I will be happy to answer you. I hope you have enjoyed the video and uh, you found it informative. And let me know if you have any questions and see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Thank you so much.